Do you remember everything about the attack? Oh. With incredible clarity. Oh. What you were going into work, right? You were going in. Did he say anything? What what can you tell me? What what it had to just be out of the blue, wasn't it? Just saw a gentleman up on my right, gave him a, a half smile, nodded to him, looked back down to see where I was going, and right about the time I got parallel with him, he, he called me a bitch and he lunged at me. So he didn't even ask you for money? No, he, no we didn't say anything together. I mean, he, he looks normal to me. Okay. I mean, he just, he just looked like one of our average customers that was just outside. Was there, was there pain right away? What did, was it just, I mean, it almost had to feel like an out-of-body experience. Yeah, there, yeah. I, I don't remember feeling any of the pain. I think that's kind of the shock and the adrenaline uh, um, I remember after uh, Tim had gotten him off, we uh, popped back up to my feet and when I started to uh, apply pressure to my neck. You did yourself? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I started to apply as much pressure as I could. But what were you using? Uh, just my hands at first. I was getting ready to ask Tim uh, for his shirt because I saw him like just in front of me. Um, but he walked away and came back a second later with some napkins. And so I used those until the firefighters got there. You never lost consciousness, did you? No. Okay. Then the firefighters got there. Was there at any point that you thought, oh my goodness, this is life threatening? I did. Um, I was very concerned. Oh, my neck are kicking. Well, I'm still conscious, so he, I don't think he got the carotid. And then I knew I was going to really fast, and I was kind of in the driveway, so I decided to walk out of the, out of the driveway, out of the way of whatever vehicles were going to be coming in. We raised our family. You had that? You were thinking of, of cars coming through the drive through picking up their prescriptions. <laughs> Ours is worried about like the policemen coming in oh. and empty and needing um, and to get well, off that now. busy street and into the we, parking lot. After our kids were raised, and I didn't want to be standing in the way of causing the... <laughs> So they transported you to the hospital City. and got you. And I, things had had to have happened very fast after that. Yeah, so I'm in the nurse the ambulance. Uh, the took over no the pressure. They got me to the hospital. Uh, uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, they, they tried to start IVs, yeah. but my blood pressure had dropped down to like a 60 systolic. They were having a hard time getting them in and um, getting the lines going. You know, kind of sad. How soon were you in surgery after that? It was really fast. And in her neighborhood, I mean, time wise, I'm not sure, but. I know I did uh, sit there for a minute as they were getting everything going. And, and they got you into surgery. Was it just one surgery, Whitney, or was there a couple? It was just one. Was, uh, okay, and that's Dr. Kang, right? Yeah. Plastics, yeah. yeah. Well, there, I think there were like four or five other uh, departments there. There was ear, nose, and throat, plastic surgeon, uh, people there to check out the arteries and veins. Now he missed your carotid. The attack okay. missed it. And so it's, it's basically nerve damage and tissue damage, correct? Yeah. And he missed your eye, thank goodness. Yeah. Um, he cut. They said 75 to 80 percent of the way through uh, the muscle. And if he had made it the last little bit through that muscle, that's what was, that's what saved me from uh, the carotid. Because then it didn't quite make it all the way through. So let's talk about, and I, I don't want to keep you here too. I know that this is a, a huge taxing on you physically. Let's talk a little bit about, you know, what what's going on next. I know this has all been a blur. Um, you're a student at Lecom. You were doing your rotation here at, at Walgreens, or what was?
Walgreens. Uh, Walgreens is, uh, I transferred there. Um, I actually work at Walgreens. Oh, okay. Um, I've done a day of my uh, second uh, first year rotation. Okay. Um, at Mill Creek. Okay. But you nope. have to push off that rotation until I can uh, get back to work. Right. Um, and so you are in the process of getting your doctorate in pharmacy, correct? So you will be a, a pharmacist, but you'll be a doctor. Do you plan to teach? Do you plan to? What are your plans? I plan on working retail right now. Okay. I really love the interaction with my patients. That's what really makes it. Has this changed your outlook on your future at all or, or anything? I know we're just days after this, but... Yeah. I mean, no, my, my goals, my aspirations, they're, they're all kind of the same. But I'm hoping that this experience will help me... Uh, what do you attribute the your recovery too. I mean, as tough as this has been, what we saw today was pretty incredible. I want to hear it in your words. What do you attribute your recovery to? Um, I have a very strong faith in God, and I mean, I know I've had prayers coming from all across the U.S., um, and I really attribute it to, to divine help, because that is the only reason I survived, and, and through everybody's love and support, I mean, that's just helped Mr. me along the way, and my parents have been here since Wednesday morning at noon, they have not left my side. Now, you have to come, you had a tracheotomy for a while, correct? So, in fact, for, for, for help for our readers and folks watching, what um, you have, how long will you have that, and, and what's the next process for that? So, the trach was actually taken out the day I was released, um, and now it's just closing up and healing that it needs to do. Um, the doctor said that the hole should, the inside of the hole should close up um, within a couple of days. And then uh, it'll take a couple of weeks for that uh, to like fully heal through. But okay. do you have? Per are there going to be additional surgeries, or are you done with surgeries? I, I think we're done. I think, I think it was just that one emergency surgery. That's incredible too, isn't it? It is. Yeah. For, for how, how big those uh, cuts were, they. They were. That was a two cuts, one cut. Oh. You know, I'm not exactly sure how it happened. Now you have some defensive wounds too, don't you? Um, a little bit. Okay. I had a scraped knee and I had some cuts on my knuckles. Okay. <laughs> This is from all the IVs. <laughs> oh wow! Oh yeah! Wow! Those look Some worse of us than are the harder to get wounds. than yeah. others. <laughs> uh, do you know how many stitches Dr. Kane put in? Um, I don't know if anyone's can. This was a running stitch. Okay. And so. What's a running stitch? It was just, it was continuous. Kind of like your grandma did on the quilt, where it just goes around and around and around. And, oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's not it's not tied with each one. Does he have to take them out, or they no. just disintegrate? They just disintegrate. Yeah. Okay. They're dissolved. Whitney, what's been the toughest part of this whole thing? the physical healing part but the first three days after uh, after it happened I was so uh, emotional especially by like surrounded by people that I love so much who uh, like my siblings kept calling me like they wanted to talk to me and like all I, I, all I do is like hear their name over the phone or the, hear, the, hear their voice and I just start to bawl and it hurts so bad to cry and I couldn't breathe and I cried <laughs> so is there still a lot of pain? Uh, no, it's, it's not too bad. And if you can, what do you want to say to the folks? I mean, you've gotten to talk to some of the folks that, that helped you at the scene, but everybody, the firefighter, everyone. What is it that you want to say? What's the message you want to get to the, all these folks in Erie who helped you immediately after the attack and have been so supportive in the days after? Um, I just want to say thank you and that they were and always will be my guardian angels. Are you going to stay here in Erie while you recover? Um, I will be going back out to Utah for a couple of weeks. 
Well, thank you very much for talking with me. I appreciate it. I'm going to talk with your mom and dad briefly. I know you guys got to go in a little bit.